to let that bother me. Not when there's a £420,000 car to take my mind off it. Only 349 Enzos will be built, the theory being you should always make one less than you think you can sell. It has a V12, 660 horsepower, does 220 miles an hour and only comes in yellow or red. The funny thing is you see pictures before you come in magazines and you get this idea of it and you... You think it looks a bit ugly in the magazines and you start criticising it because, you know, you get a bit picky. And then you see it for real and all the hair stands up on your arms. And it looks stunning. The naked eye can see so much more detail than photographs show because I just noticed that this wing, you don't see that in the photos at all. It's a proper aerofoil. It is the detailed touches. Little rear lights. Much of I like little silver bits they put on it, spoiling all their advertising stickers. Where's Dario? Is he here yet? Oh, there he is at the door. Robin quit as a shot Dar over there. There's Dario. The doorway. the doorway. Hope he hasn't spotted me yet. He always wears the shades. You can't see his eyes behind the shades. The other big feature of the car is this first ever production car use of carbon brakes. You can see the mottled effect, very different from steel. And the whole point about these is in the past, racing-wise, they only work when they're really incredibly hot. And when they're not hot, they don't work and it pulls the car. Now, they say, even on a stone-cold day, they work straight away. And finally, I'm in an Enzo Ferrari. Apparently, when you buy your own, the pedals can have about 16 different adjustments to suit you. All the basic seats got 16, 16 different sizes. Still slides backwards and forwards manually, mind you. And uh, a long last, but it started with a Ferrari 360. You've now got adjustable steering wheels. Because the days prior to the 360, they were horrible driving positions. Now they're brilliant, fantastic. Real Formula One steering wheel, there's those lights that apparently come on with the revs. You've got all sorts of mode settings here, traction control settings there. Of course, now as you'd expect with the Ferrari, paddle gear change up on the right, down on the left. Big start button to fire up that uh, six litre V12, which I can see in the rear view mirror. Very nice. Tell him we're filming, so can he get out of the way? Suddenly, at half past two, they say, lunch is over, you're in. Another change of plan. But I am finally out on the track in an Enzo Ferrari. For the first impression, you get that lovely V12 engine behind you, the blip of the down change that comes automatically, and a huge surge <laughs> breaking over the bridge. It's very light, the steering, and the nose turns in. Surprisingly easily. And then down to this tight first gear here. Pull one gear, pull the second, turn the front response, steering very light, floor the throttle, and oh, and the traction control was killing me. Sorry, but I can't drive a Ferrari with that on. I think I've hit the right button. They didn't tell us how to get rid of it. Now the Ferrari's alive. The lights on the wheels scream up through the revs. Is it? Oh, it is. That blip, you feel the rear end squirm a bit if you change down too early. You want to be later on that. But then, oh. Break, blip, change down later, Tim. That's what this car wants. Now I haven't got traction. Hit the horn again as I cross my hands. But now the car leaps out of that corner. the brakes are, but I believe that I'm 600 horsepower right underneath my foot. Oh. 
realise it's been five minutes and it's gone. And uh, it's hard to know how to sum up this Enzo Ferrari after a short uh, experience as that, but it's, it's perhaps not as elegant nor as practical as a McLaren F1. It's, it's not as exotic as the Pagani Zonda. But what it does do fantastically well is what Ferrari are fantastic at. It goes around racing circuits very, very quickly indeed. Just one loose end then. My lap time of 1 minute 34 may have been 4 seconds slower than the great Dario, but not bad considering I'd only had 5 minutes and he's here every day. And it was, I'm proud to report, the quickest journalist time of all. So, what did Dario think of that? There you go. Bello. Friends again.